Hi guys, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. And today I want to talk about what's coming in the next update. And the biggest thing, apart from a revamped Castilla in Japanese heavies, is the change to military honor. Now, let's be honest, military honor has had a bad rap ever since it was introduced. It was a good idea, not going to lie, but it was never really going to work. Now, in the recent video released by Wargaming, you can see that players have complained because they're saying, oh, well, you know, the military honor doesn't really reflect the skill level or etc. of the player. Well, hey guys, it was never actually meant to do that. It was never meant to reflect the skill level of the player. It was actually just meant to show you how that player conducts himself in a battle. Now, this is my military honor. As you can see, I've got 12,759 praises and 36 complaints over my career. And by far, I'm an impeccable player. Now, that only lasts for 30 days, so my, my 30 day assistant is 51 praises, no complaints. So, does that say I'm a good player? Does it say I'm a skillful player? Well, actually, no, it just says that I follow the rules and, you know, that's it. And that's what makes me a compatible player. Now, if you read what it states in the descriptions, an impeccable player is a, an ideal player who complies with the rules, supports and inspires allies in battles, bravely fights the enemy and behaves adequately. It just says nothing about he's a 70 percenter, he knows everything, he's brilliant. So it was never meant to reflect your skill level, just your, well, your ability as in, are you a good, are you a nice player in the battle? Simple as that, nothing more. And as you can see, it goes impeccable, trustworthy, disciplined, undisciplined, untrustworthy, and absolutely untrustworthy. Now, if you look at absolutely untrustworthy, the description is a player who systematically violates game rules and receives penalties related to different complaints, such as offensive behavior, provocations, unspotting conduct, inactivity, etc., etc. That's got nothing to do with the player's skill. That's, that's the way he handles himself, and that is the thing. So... There's a lot of misunderstanding of military honor. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a big fan of military honor, but for reasons that will become apparent, I've never had an issue with the praises except for lucky player. I mean, what is lucky player? It's nonsensical. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I've always liked social player, team player, effective player, and worthy opponent. I think they are good and they really do go forward and sort of say, this guy is pretty, pretty nice. My biggest issue has been with the complaints, okay? Because they're always gonna be abused and abused they have been. There will be times in a battle where you will think that, you know, one player on your team, for example, could have done a bit more. So the chances of being told off or reported for being inactive is, is, is increased. Same with the on-sporting conduct. People always spam, okay? I mean, we're, we're not a community, unfortunately, that realistically completes itself. And therein lies one of the problems that we have with our community because we've never been able to police ourselves. And the complaint side has always been open to abuse. However, however, getting a load of complaints only affected your, your stars. It didn't affect anything else. It wasn't as a report. To actually get somebody banned or, or, or to be, you know, really told off. You physically had to write and submit a report via the Wargaming customer service. And that's always been a good thing because then you've got a third party actually looking if the rules have been violated, okay? And a lot of players couldn't really be bothered to take the time out to do it. However, we've now changed that, well, Wargaming, I'm not we, and what we're getting now, we're getting rid of the praises and we're getting complaints and we're getting rid of the complaints and we're getting a report. Now, the praises one is, is gone. It's, it's now going to be you get to give people emojis. Now, I haven't got a problem with that. I mean, the, they're a temporary thing. They don't sit in your garage. They, they don't collect over time. People aren't going to have a clue if you're a nice player or a bad player. Okay. So it's just an emoji. It's just a little shiny thing to give people after, after the end of the battle which I don't have a problem with. That, that, I have no issue with that at all. It's not a bad thing, it's not a good thing. It's an interesting thing and it's something new. My issue is the next part. We've got rid of the complaints in favor of 
an immediate report. So at the moment the battle finishes, you can report somebody. Now, I'd, I think that's just absolutely open to abuse. Because, as I said, we, we haven't got the nicest of communities at the best of time, not the maturest of communities at the best of time. And, you know, there are times when you've come out of a battle and people have, report, have, have, have down-thumbed you for no valid reason. And now that's going to be a, an immediate report to Wargaming. I mean, is that true? Is that correct? Is that the right way to go? Well, I actually don't think it is. And I have a real problem with this one. You know, I really have a problem with it because I'm all for people complaining about bad players, players who break the rules, players who realistically should be reported. But I'm not into this straight after the heat of battle, send, send a report immediately, straight away, you know, at the touch of a button. Gone are the days when you had to sort of compile a complaint, write everything down and send it all across. Those days have gone with this new system. It's just instant. It's an insta report. And okay, Wargaming are going to review it, but they're going to be swamped. I can't see this being better than what we've currently got. And personally, keep the emojis. Just get rid of the reports force people to still report in the proper way because this is is going to make the system collapse it's going to be just rife for abuse and i guarantee you this when this first comes out there'll be those amongst us who will use up all their complaints instantly just for shits and giggles and all of a sudden people are going to be you know under the cosh now, the thing about the report, you can't actually appeal them. Not really, not really. There's no right of appeal if you check the game rules. So this, yeah, I think this is a bridge too far. But I will see how the system works myself. I will see if it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's not going to be a great thing. I think we've taken something that was a good idea, i.e. military on it, was a good idea, good concept. It didn't work. And we've changed it to something that, okay, the praises side, which is the good part of the game, we're just getting rid of that and everybody's got an emoji. And the complaint side, which has always been abused, which everybody had a problem with, we're just going to streamline it into a report so everybody can abuse it even more. Mm, don't think that's a good thing. Anyway, I'd like to know your thoughts on this. I've been Fujit. That's been my uptake on the new system that's coming in the next update by all means comment and everything below let me know your thoughts because i'd be intrigued to know and until the next time guys stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about having fun and being happy